Hey there! Today I'm going to share with you the 7 most frustrating issues my students have when using Procreate and of course how to sort them out. Chances are you have the same and if not be sure to leave a comment and I'll give you the answer in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it out, okay? Let's get started! First issue Marks that appear out of nowhere. Who did them? We did them. We touched the screen with something else while we were painting with our Apple Pencil. Fortunately, there is a feature that controls what can paint and what can't. So, the solution to avoid random marks is... Gesture controls. Go to Actions Prefs, tap on gesture controls, and then general. Toggle on disable touch actions. From now on, nothing but your Apple Pencil will be able to paint. This will be useful from now on, right? But how do we get rid of the marks we already have? Well, First, we need to figure out on what layer those annoying marks are. When working with many layers, finding where a small mark is, isn't easy. Or is it? We can create a shortcut for that. Let's do it. Go to Actions prefs and tap on gesture controls again. This time tap select layer and choose the shortcut that integrates best with your workflow. In my case it is holding the square modify button plus tapping with the apple pencil. Now I'll use the shortcut to get rid of this mark. All I have to do is to hold the modify button and tap with my apple pencil on the mark. A list of all the layers containing paint in that area will appear. Usually we'll find the mark on the top one, unless our top layer is translucent. So let's select the top one. Once we have isolated the layer, we can erase the mark. Ta-da! What if we can't erase the mark without damaging our illustration? So you've finally found the layer and when you use the eraser... Oh no! This happens! In this case we will have to redraw that part or... Use the clone tool! Go to adjustments and choose clone. A disk will appear in the middle of the canvas. The area inside it will be the source of the clone when we start painting. All we have to do is to drag that disk to an area that looks similar to the one we lost and paint over the damage area. Procreate settings are not always the cause of all our problems. Sometimes we are the ones who mess everything up. Who has never drawn the line art on the sketch layer accidentally? What if I tell you that you don't need to start over, that there is a way to separate your line art from your sketch? This tip will make your day. Go to Adjustments, Gradient Map and create a custom gradient by tapping on the plus sign. Drag the white square to the left until your sketch lines disappear. Tap again on adjustments to exit and keep the changes. We are not done yet. If you tap on layers, you'll see that our sketch is still there, but it is white now. Let's turn off the visibility of the background layers for you to see this better. 
So next step is to get rid of the white sketch. Pay attention, okay? Make sure the only active layers are the white background and your line art. Three fingers downwards on the canvas and on the menu select Copy All. Open the Layers panel and attach a layer mask to your line art. Repeat the three fingers gesture, but this time tap Paste. Open your Layers panel again. Tap on your layer mask and choose Invert. Merge the layers by pinching them together and voila! Your line art is safe and sound. Now that everything is fixed, we can take the next step. To color! Raise your hand if color drop doesn't work properly for you. Either it doesn't feel to the edge, or it fills the entire canvas. Color drop is special. We have to tell it exactly what we need. To do that, drag the color into the shape and, maintaining contact with the screen, wait for the color drop threshold slider to appear at the top. Without breaking contact with the screen, slide your Apple Pencil or finger to the right to increase the threshold percentage, or to the left to decrease it. That's it! So, perfect fills from now on! We can use color drop to fill shapes on the same layer as our line art. However, wouldn't it be better if we had color fills and line art on different layers? Good news! You can do this in Procreate using Reference Layer. Go to the Layers panel and tap on your line art layer. Select Reference from the menu. Add a new layer. Move it below your line art layer and drag and drop colors on it. Drag and drop, drag and drop, drag and drop, drag and drop, drag and drop. Okay, there is a better way to do this. Drag and drop the color. Tap on continue filling with recolor. And now, simply tap on the areas you want to fill. Procreate will color them with the selected color. Thanks to this feature, blend modes and clipping mask we use for adding texture, color variation and other effects will not affect our line art. Each digital artist has a different drawing style. Maybe outlines are not in your repertoire, or they are, but not closed. So you can't use color drop, right? How can you color quickly and accurately then? Using color fill. Pick a color. Tap on the selection button. Then on the little bucket. And finally draw around the content you want to color. Easy, right? If you need to fill more areas with the same color, Draw around them. Don't like the color? No problem. You can go to the color panel and try a different one. If what you want to change is the color of your line art, create a new layer, fill it with the desired color, and finally turn it into a clipping mask. That's all for today. Don't forget to leave a comment, like this video and subscribe if you want more videos like this. See you around. Bye-bye.